morning everybody long time no see haven't seen you in a few days hope you're well it is monday we're up bright and early i got up at about just before six o'clock hopped in the shower where are we going today alistair alistair's up nice and early where are we going the isle of whites if you follow my instagram it's linked below i did put a little picture just to say that we are heading to the Isle of Wight today just for two nights like three long days um, our ferry home is Wednesday afternoon um, so I booked this quite a long time ago I booked like an Airbnb um, obviously we just come back over a week ago from camping and we haven't been to the Isle of Wight for two years but it was like nearer four just over three and a half so um, yeah, and I took my little sister last time, and this time Graham still can't come <laughs> because of work. Works just too much, so I'm taking my little sister again. She is she was 14 in May, so yeah, me and three kids are going to the Isle of Wight, and I'm so excited. Um, I'm all packed and pretty much ready to go. It's just literally getting the kids done and myself sorted clearly. So if you um, want to see some footage actually from Isle of Wight when we went two years ago, I do have some glamping videos because we stayed in a safari tent for I think it was three nights or four nights. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it linked below. So, oh, I love watching it back. The weather was amazing as well. I swear every time I go to Isle of Wight, the weather is just glorious. I've got to mention we're up so early because um, my, I put my ferry for nine o'clock in the morning, so we don't live that far away from the ferry, but you have to get there early, it's gonna be busy. Um, I've got to pick up my little sister on the way, I've got to get diesel, because I didn't get there yesterday. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to be over, it takes an hour on the ferry, it's really, really quick. Um, but I wanted to be early because I wanted the whole day there. We can't check into our Airbnb house till about four. And yeah, so we basically have plans for the whole day. Dry bag full of like goodies and snacks and cereal. So obviously we're only there two nights, but um, I've obviously having three children, if we're having days out, I wanted to make sure I've got stuff for lunches because it can be so expensive, you know, on day trips out. I've got some juice for my sister. She likes this one, so that's what's left. I'm taking that. Here's my suitcase. So when we were camping five nights, we, me and Graham took we, we had we had that one, the kids had that one, but I've managed to squeeze, obviously only two nights. The kids is that side, I'm that side, and I've got like all the toiletries and my laptop and stuff. So yeah, I think I've done well with packing. Alistair looks like he's already dressed, but that's what he wore yesterday. What have you got, Alistair? It's my pet stick insect, Staniel. Staniel. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So Alistair's friend has a bazillion st sticking sex and when he went there on Friday, Alistair came home with three in, in a jar, didn't you? When I was at work. So now we have pet sticking sex. <laughs> Their makeshift home. This is Nana's glass bowl and then um, Nana's other half made this perspex, oh sorry, made this perspex lid with holes. How cool is that? And he's got one in his hand and then he's got two little babies as well somewhere. I don't know where they are. Oh yeah, one's there. I'm guessing it's going to grow as big as the other one, is it? Alistair? Yeah. Leaving, all packed, ready to go, on time. It's about 10 past seven. Yes, Violet finally got up. And I was like, right, quick, 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 he's excited. We are Yay. off, get some diesel and then go pick up Rihanna. Right, we're on. La <laughs> car. So, where are we going? Why do you not know? A lorry weighs two tons. A bit windy. We have to go to the back for us. We're in the car, we're on the ferry still, so we're waiting to get off. But um, I've put Alan Bay into the, the sat nav, so that is where we're heading today. It's a little bit of a grey day, so I thought, well, we might as well do something. We've got some of these Super Saver tickets for the needles, so we went there last time, but um, the kids were too little to get on. 
the chairlift so I'm not sure if it's going to be the same thing but they've got loads of like activity things to do so that is planned for today and it's dry it's just a little bit grey the kids of course they're like zombies we're at the sweet shop <laughs> getting some yummy reminds me very much of Land's End the whole like concept it's got a 4D the same Hello! <laughs> Alistair! Hello zone. Violet! Rihanna! Alistair, Rihanna! Wave! <laughs> we're on the yeah. chairlift. Oh my god, it's really high. Can you see? We're gonna go down. I'm excited. I'm, this is, I'm a bit it, nervous it. actually. To be honest, I didn't think we'd get on because last time we were here, Rihanna was just that little bit too short and that young, so she couldn't take Alistair, but now she's older. <gasps> Leaves! So, yeah. I'm so excited! Look how high this is. Like, this is just a little bit scary. Do you know what? I don't actually think Daddy would do this. I think he'd be too scared because I, even I feel a little bit. Right, okay, you want to the car, It's a really cute bungalow, two bedroom bungalow. It's got, it's got king size, which me and Alistair are sharing, and a double, which um, Rihanna and Violet are sharing. But I'll give you a tour because it's so cute. I really like the fact that it just had pops of colour and it was just really quirky. Um, it's got a massive garden as well, and it's right only a few minutes of walk from yeah. ride as well. Give you a tour. So this is the front door, and then obviously our crabs are here. Uh, this is the open plan kitchen. Love sink. It's got a proper uh, bean to cup coffee machine, which I cannot wait to make a cup of coffee. Uh, we've got like a really cute wood burner. The little dining area. Here we have the lounge area. Super cute. I love that chair. Um, and then we've got some really quirky things on the walls and colour, like pops of colour everywhere. This is obviously a person's office, so we won't use that area. And then we've got mine and Alistair's bedroom, which is the main bedroom, which is lovely. And it's got a big king size bed, which is always a must. Um, and then this is the second bedroom. Hello. 
nice and cosy in there. Violet? Yeah. Look at the cool. I love those toilets. Yeah, Violet's in the toilet. I'll show you the bathroom in a minute, but it's basically just nice and brightly coloured. And it's got this like gorgeous conservatory living space, just really, really warm. Um, goes all the way over there it's so spacious and there's loads of like really cute things like candles and yeah yeah there's a pond and the garden space is just massive like there's a hammock a pond and the whole place is a blue it's this sort of duck egg blue this is where we're staying for two nights i booked it ages ago i just found it and i just loved it and i love ride um, I like the fact that it's just a few minutes walk from the town centre so we can go get some like shopping in a minute um, so I don't have to drive in and yeah it just, just was really reasonable in price as well It's in the bathroom Just super cute But I didn't get my tattoo one. Oh that's lucky Yeah that's the bathroom Nice big bath Nice green tiles. I'm just having a quick tea break. It's like 25 to six, absolutely knackered. So I was saying about the walk to the shop. So the local shop is just like quite a small um, sort of shop. So it's quite expensive. It doesn't really hold that much. So we walked down into Ride, which was like a 15 minute walk. It wasn't too bad. Obviously with kids, they just drag their heels. It takes a bit longer. So we went into the supermarket, did a quick little food shop, just basically I just wanted milk and stuff for when we go out for days out, the next two days, and that's pretty much that. So it's just lunch stuff, a few snacks. Um, yeah, so we got back and also for dinner as well. So I got some really quick pizzas, I just stuck them in the oven and we're just waiting on those. The kids are actually watching a movie. Um, yeah, I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm just absolutely shattered and can't wait to roll into bed. Um, yeah, just got to get these kids fed. They seem really happy though and just chilled. Um, it's super duper cozy, like with all the, the cute lightings and the kids are over there. How cozy they are. Uh oh, this is not good. Riley. Really? Officially got the fire going. Don't drop yeah. the camera. Don't drop the camera. Why would I drop the camera? I've been working at it for like 10 minutes. Popcorn. Give me them. Popcorn. I put a log on my fire. It's going out. Right, kids are in bed. I've got my cup of tea. I'm watching a little bit of rubbish telly and I am going to bed after this. So I will see you bright and early in the morning. I'm going to try and have a bit of a lay in and a bit of a lazy morning for a change because we've been getting up so early this past week. Two weeks, honestly. Like, I can't help but get up early, but I don't know. I feel like actually relax in this place it's really quite nice so yeah i'm gonna try and have a chilled chilled relaxing morning so i will see you tomorrow